Hey guys, welcome to another painting party. It's not good. It is not good. If you missed the first episode, well, we kind of we started priming the Impreza. We had some issues with the gun. Well, both of them. Actually, the issue was with the guy that sold us the paint. He told Lucas to use a 1.3 size tip, but the instructions on the primer will clearly, clearly says to use 1.8 or, or higher, like between 1.8 to 2.0. It's actually right on the can. Right here it says fluid tip 1.8 to 2.0. Now the paint and clear it does say 1.4, which is what we had. But Lucas went to get a different gun. <sighs> so we'll see. But we are determined to paint it today. You know, put down the base, then maybe clear coat. It is late, it's 5 p.m. I'm gonna send it now. It is rough. You can't see it. But you can hear it. Hear this? That's not too bad. Bad. Not too bad. I mean everywhere. We got overspray everywhere. Yeah. So I gotta do the whole hood, fenders, and the bumper. Then gotta clean the dust up. I'm gonna actually vacuum the floors, everything from in here. It is kind of cozy in here. I like it. And I'm gonna dry sand it. Because I don't want to make any more mess. And I'm gonna sand it with 220. And then maybe bump it up to 300 or something like that. Or maybe 400, we'll see. Probably not, just trying to get this as quick as I can. Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna show you the sanding process because it's just, it's, you know, you, you don't wanna see that. Alright, guys, I'm gonna show you the result when I'm done. Done with sanding. You're not gonna see much, but like before, you might be able to hear it. You know, my glasses, my goggles. Alright, so it's still, it's still dusty, but I don't know if you remember the noise. Noise is the same. It's a little less noisy, but it's the same everywhere. So what you want to do is basically use one hand to sand it and the other to kind of follow and feel, feel out the roughness. Like, okay, I just found out I need to do a little bit more here because this part is smoother and this part is smoother than this part here. So, gotta go over. I'm gonna blow this off with compressed air and go over it again. But, sandpaper saved the day, hopefully. You know, I should probably mention, if you're here to learn something about painting, turn this video off right now. All right, it's, it's cleanup time. Guys, pro tip of the day, try not to spray directly on the plastic. I did a kind of a test spray here and well the reason for this is because this plastic the paint doesn't stick to it and it flakes off actually you can see here it's flaking off so what happens is you come back to spray after this dries let's say you know second day or whatever like we are today and these flakes will may, may go on to the paint while you spray. We both knew about it, but you know, there is special different kind of uh, plastic covers that paint does stick to. We both knew about it, but we forgot about it. And it is, it is what it is. All right, look here, going to town with 400 grid. Look at him go. Mm-hmm. What? A lot of orange peel. Ah, oh, orange peel. Well, we won't have any orange peel right, over, right here. Huh? You gotta look at the bright side, man. Oh, this, this here? Yeah. 
Well, maybe I'm the reason. That's gonna be a lot of orange peel there. That's gonna be a, the best paint job. You should probably do the best over there. You know, it's like trying to polish a turd. Yeah. We actually read the instructions after, uh, yesterday, after we did all that uh, of the paint gun. You may want to do that before you start painting. So, two things. You can thin a primer or use a bigger uh, needle for the gun, like a 2.0. Jet. Jet, whatever you call that. Yeah, not sure you know, what, what we have to do when we we're should, done with paint. We should have been, we should have been painting all this door. Maybe, like right over here. Well, no, this, this, this is a out. test panel, man. This is oh, a test oh, panel. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, once paint is on, because we may, sand the the paint the first base we're just going to cut this foil here and kind of just big uh, give us a bigger more working area <coughs> yeah a bigger working area over here all right gotta put my respirator on same thing over here you no know, we're taking this seriously guys this is serious stuff all right so in about five four to five hours when look is done we're gonna clean this off and be ready for paint and same gun just new maybe we'll see maybe that one had an issue after all it was from the china store fingers crossed all right guys cheers we're ready to spray oh, it's not looking very good guys you know like i said before if you're trying to learn something from this just Turn this off right now. You know, go to a different video where an actual professional is, you know, teaching you how to spray. Uh, but we did watch a lot of videos. You know, quite a quite a bit. I've been watching these kind of videos for years now. Twelve. Twelve, yeah, twelve, at least twelve years. Uh, I almost read a book about uh, about, about painting and body work and you know stuff like that. But uh, you're not going to see any of that here. No, no. What do they say? Almost doesn't count? Almost doesn't count, yeah. Almost almost doesn't count. So it's, it's probably going to look worse or as bad as it was before, just colored this time. And I may just take, maybe just throw in some pictures later on when it's all done. Uh, do some close-ups of the primer maybe and, and uh, you know, after, after base. Uh, so you can see how bad it really is. Who's gonna spray this time? So guys, we did. We shot primer. Sorry, we shot paint on the primer only. Just spots and stuff. Couldn't show you because I was holding loose holes. And we did the whole primer with paint. This is the second coat. the wet wet edge keep going keep going
Pick up the wet edge. Guys, we're done spraying the paint. Got to clean the gun after each use, really. But who's who's got the time? But we are cleaning it after the paint now. We're getting ready for the clear coat. Let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, wrong, wrong way. I'm gonna show you what kind of a painter look is. We have to fix our door. So as we kind of, you know, walk in, we kind of lock ourselves in with this two by four, just kind of set this plastic on the floor and just put it's some weight on tech. it. What? It's very high tech. Yeah, this, this, is, this is actually high tech, guys. I mean, look at this. Fully protected. All right, I mean, fan, everything. I mean, we already showed you this, but look, let's look at the bumper. You're not gonna, I don't know if you're gonna even see this. Oh, there you go. This is our, you know, not so good preparation, which we didn't really pay too much attention. But this is not too bad. No, it is. I mean, we didn't put Bando on here, especially over here. Uh, not very good Luckily, we don't care, but this is actually not too bad besides this dent that we didn't fix We learned that we gotta keep the gun close and We no longer have let's see if we can hear this This is smooth actually Not so smooth So we do have some dust. We've been wiping it every, before every new coat. We gave it, what, 10, 15 minutes dry time. And then we would just wipe it, wipe off the dust with a, with fiber cloth, you know, just like this. You can actually now, I can feel how rough this is. This is a little bit less. Just by keeping the, the gun close, six inches or so if you keep it too far then you have this you know you're creating this dust on your finish oh it's bad especially over here i don't know if you can tell but see how quiet that is and how loud this is yeah so we are going to send this with 600 800 excuse me 800 we're gonna peel this back and just retape it. This is rough. I mean, because we didn't spray directly on here, just, just, you know, we only had an area to paint, which was right about here. But you, you know how it goes. So this is rough over here. We gotta send this down. I'm gonna peel this back, probably tape it up here again. Same over here, peel this back. Okay, so let's compare colors. You can see a line, but there's no ridge. So that, that, that's good news. So we can lightly sand this, kind of blend them together and just, you know, put clear coat here. Bumper is not too bad. May not even have to sand this down at all same here story here we kind of left this open see less less uh, roughness here I don't know we're kind of experimenting too here you can see the the tape uh, a little bit so this needs some sanding down 
Again, rough over here for some reason. And besides these, some of these dents here, this is not too bad. You know, I gotta say, so far, I'm pretty happy with the hood, the fenders, and the bumpers. Not so much with the front bumper. Guys, we're gonna end it here for part two of the painting Impreza project. We're gonna hit clear coat tomorrow. Stay tuned. See you next time.